Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. Today, we find ourselves in Columbia, Missouri, and it was there that Brian Smith, the head coach for Mizzou, is named three-time NCAA national champ, Jaden Cox, as the program's volunteer assistant coach. It was just last Thursday. He joins us now. Jaden, good morning. How are you, coach? <laughs> I'm very well. I'm going to have to get used to uh, being called coach now, I guess, you know, but uh, it's, a, it's a great morning and the uh, Oh, things are just really good. So uh, how are you? I'm good, man. First of all, congratulations. You're going to be taking that walk. You've uh, worked so hard to do that, of course, across the stage as you accept your your degree. Uh, then, of course, uh, there's other great news, too, as the uh, big celebration continues on the weekend. Tell us the news about your brother. Well, my brother just uh, recently got announced as the new head wrestling coach at this Met High School. and. Uh, so, I mean, the family has definitely had some high moments uh, as of late. So it's just a, it's a great time of celebration and, the, and being uh, thankful for uh, being uh, in these positions and having these opportunities. So this opportunity that's being afforded to you by Missouri is uh, allowing you to continue to wrestle international competitions under the Missouri Wrestling Foundation, and it will continue with the U.S. Freestyle World Team Trials June 9th through the 10th. How are you uh, doing as far as getting prepared for that? I'm doing well. You know, um, the great thing is that, you know, the people around me have, uh, have been nothing but supporting me. Um, especially when it came to making decisions about, you know, what I was going to do and whatnot. Um, so whenever the decision came to to take on this this coaching job and, and continue to wrestle, it wasn't kind of like it was a slow start or anything. It was, uh, you know, it was everyone jumped on board and, and uh, was able to give me the support and uh, and and uh, that I needed and and just uh, you know, I guess just give me the give me the the workout partners and. And, and the workouts that I needed. Um, the only other thing that kind of, I won't say was like a hassle, but like the only other thing that was like, um, that took away from training a little bit when, my, when I first made my decision was whenever I was going to go to, like, whenever school was still going and I wanted to focus on graduating because uh, that's more, that's more important to me as of right now. Like it still, like I, it's more important to me to graduate than it is for me to win the world team trials. Um, and, you know, it's not, it's not a, don't me wrong. Like world team trials is a big deal. I get that, but uh, I want my degree. I worked hard four years for this, and uh, and I, this is something that I want to and enjoy, and appreciate. But don't get me wrong. I'm training hard. I'm working hard, getting back in shape. You know, it's been uh, it's been an awesome ride. I mean, I don't know if I'm really getting back in shape. I'm not sure if I really truly fallen out of it. But uh, but uh, you know, just wrestling again, and uh, just feeling free on the mat. So it's just been awesome. And there will be a sense of freedom. It's a lifetime of learning, and that's the celebration that you will uh, experience this weekend, culminating, of course, with the four-year college degree. But uh, also on the mat, you will have some freedom now because uh, you will be able to focus on the job at hand. And it truly is a job, coaching and training for world and Olympic competition. It's been said by Coach Smith that you treat the sport with great respect. You're an amazing student of wrestling. He'll be a fantastic coach because of the positivity he brings to the mat and his dedication to helping our program reach its full potential. He's expecting good work out of you. <laughs> well, I'd hope so. I don't want someone to hire me because I do a terrible job. Um, but, uh, you know, I, it's, uh, I, I, I want, I want, I think for, for us, it's not so much of a, like, it's like we've had a relationship as coach and, uh, and, and I guess wrestler, you know, for so long, it's going to be awesome to step in the role, at, you know, as as coach and and and, and as, as me being a coach as well. And I don't I don't expect things to really change as much. I expect to still have the same push from him as a coach, you know, as I go into this job as well to to bring the best out of me and and me giving my best towards this uh, this opportunity, you know. And um, I think a big thing for for me is that you know I I don't want to yeah. I don't want to do this uh, halfway and I, and I do want to give my best. So I, you know, I, I'd want him to expect big things for me because, you know, it really shows the faith that he has in, in not only in myself, but my abilities as a, not only a wrestler, but also a coach. And, uh, you know, I look forward to learning from him and being and like, just having him take me under his wing and, 
and teaching me everything. And, and, as, long, so, and as long and, and as well as the other staff members with Clemson and Coach Joe um, and even Alan Waters, who's been in the same position I'm in. So, you know, all these guys are going to really be able to, to help me to gain insight on the things that I need to do to help better not only myself, but also better myself for the team and uh, be just an overall better coach, better wrestler, and whatever it is I have to do. You know, it's interesting. Many of the things that you've been able to focus on and excel at is what you're going to be offering up to these young athletes uh, that you'll be working with, the incoming freshmen, the recruits. I mean, because you are that go-to guy when it's time to have a recruit on campus. They want to meet Jaden Cox, and and who wouldn't? But, you know, you're, you're, you're one of those dangerous guys. You've got so many things going for you, N- nutritional skills, technical skills, mat, uh, mat position. Um, and as far as recruiting goes, conversations with recruits, this is something you are a natural at. You communicate better than most. Uh, I don't mm-hmm. know if that comes from your mother or what, but where does it come from? Um, I don't really know. I think that, uh, in general, like, I, I don't know. I just like to talk, um, to people and you know, what's really weird. is like, usually I'm, I'm really held back. I don't really, I don't really talk unless I have to. So it's almost kind of like, uh, it's kind of like I kind of keep what I have to say in within me until I, until um, I need to say something or or have to say something. And I think at that point, since I've thought about what I'm going to say and I've I've processed it for so long, maybe or or, or that I don't go out and I, out of my way to just say so much that whenever it does come out that it's it's articulated well, it's been planned out. It know I know what needs to be said or or uh, you know I have a mindset or I've thought about something long enough to where I know my position on it, so I can speak on things. Um, and most of the time, when we're when we're you know when I'm conversing with somebody else. It's usually about some, something about me or that I that I have a lot of relation to. So then it's also easy to articulate that as well. Okay, very good. Um, where, where does this put you in your singing career? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I'll never stop singing. You know, I'm going to I'm going to be singing around the um, <laughs> around uh, the, the arena when we're in Lincoln. So, I mean, I, I'm going to be singing my heart out. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, that's what I do. I mean, that's that's how I uh, that's how I stay. uh I guess relax and cool and and uh, I enjoy and I enjoy it. It's just something that that uh, you know. So as of right now, I, let me tell you this. Right now, my career is, is a is definitely probably just a. It's about as far as like a shower singer goes. Okay. As of right now, what what, what do you make okay. of the what do you make of all the uh, the rumors about you playing football? Everybody was worried about your career, but you. Okay. What do you make of of, of all the rumors that were out there and the incorrect reporting? Well, I mean, I I think that uh, I mean, there's a reason that I think you know assumptions and rumors and all those things. Those things are dangerous, you know. But uh, I think that I knew I knew what the options were. That's why I, whenever I was asked about it or I was interviewed about it, I made sure that I knew what was going on, so that if I had something to relay or not that people could know. And there was also a reason why I kept this out of the public as well, because though you want, these people wanted to have, you know, to make rumors or have a prediction or whatever, I wanted to make sure that I kept it out of the public so that I could come out and say what my decision was and no one else could uh, kind of take it and uh, make their own opinions or whatever of it before I got the chance to put it out there. Because then that made whatever anyone else had to say invalid. Um, but I, you know, I, I, uh, I just weighed the options and, uh, I didn't want, you know, and people were telling me so many things, you know, I had so many people saying like, well, don't play football. And uh, I had people telling me, well, like you should play football. You should, you know, <laughs> you should wrestle, you shouldn't wrestle, you know, and everything, most of the most part, the main concern for everything was like injury, you know, and, and all that. And, uh, you know, it's like, it's, you know, but yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man of faith and, uh, you know, Jesus says, don't, you know, do not fear like 365 times in the Bible. So it's like, I, that's how I li- that's how I'm going to live my life. Like, you know, if this is an opportunity, it's an opportunity. And, uh, 
you know, if my, uh, you know, if my leg were to snap, my leg would be a snap. And it's not the end of the world. If it weren't a snap, then it wouldn't snap. If, but whatever brings a smile to my face, that's what matters to me. So let's, let's, let's you know, not talk about your leg snapping, though. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> I got to put it out there. It's a possibility. It could happen. I could step off a curb, and it could happen. You know. Yeah. You know, oh, um, man. I don't want it to happen. Knock on wood. I got right? wood desks around me, but <laughs> I got you. I got your back. <laughs> All right. So we're talking with Jaden Cox. He's uh, become a regular on both radio and television with us over the years, and rightfully so. Let's take a look at the uh, the record book as he joins us in the Nike hot seat today. You rank first in winning percentage among wrestlers with over 100 wins. That's point nine six five, by the way. Total record one thirty six and five. Tied for second in overall victories with one thirty six. Second in career tech falls with twenty. Third in career major decisions in with thirty one and tied for eighth in career falls with 27, but you are first in what we call likability. You have a likability factor among fans. Um, that's got to be humbling somewhat. Um, you know, um, it's just that uh, it means a lot to me uh, just because um, I've, I've, I don't just preach something. I, it's like me telling people that I don't want to be remembered as a good wrestler but as a good person it's not just a, you know, it's not like a slogan or it's not just something that, that I say, you know, that's, that's, that's my lifestyle right there. That's, that's like, that's like my motto. Like that's, 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 that's my truth. Um, because at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, you know, there's going to be other great wrestlers to come through this sport and, um, and do great things, you know, and I don't know who's going to be, I don't know what it is, but at the end of the day, at some point, someone else's name is going to be a lot bigger and a lot greater than mine. But for me, if I'm just a great person, if everyone's a great person, there's only, only ever going to be one true Jaden Cox. And I, I want to be true to myself and true to others. And um, that's what I want to be remembered as. You know, And that's that's what I want to be. And to see that that's going on right now with the likability and everything, um, it's, it is definitely, and I mean, it, it means a lot. And I'm greatly appreciative of that. You took the long way to the Olympic Games in in uh, Brazil. Uh, you had to travel to Mongolia to wrestle in the World Games qualifying tournament, uh, which I think really allowed you to get fired up that much more. What was that bronze medal um, win over uh, Perez of Cuba? What was that like? What was that moment like? Can you describe it? Oh, I mean, uh, I could... You know, the cop out of me wants to say, you know, words couldn't describe it, but I, I got to find a way to put it in the words. But it's almost kind of like I, I can't say it was a dream come true because my dream wasn't a bronze medal. But if if I could take all the moments that I've ever wrestled and and uh, and, and then put it all into one. And 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 have all this the the, the striving to the, you know the striving to be something great and the the hard times and everything, it's almost kind of like those times and those, it's it's almost it's just like it makes things worth it. It made it made the struggle worth it. It made the the pa it made the passion and the desire, the sacrifices, the love, the everything. It makes everything worth it. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you know, I got to share that with family and friends and. And they got to see that. And I feel like in that moment, you know, it's kind of like where everyone gets to see, you know, all the all of your journey right then and there. And, you know, they take part in that. A culmination of, of a lifetime's hard work. And we'll get to see it again as you look to make a, another world team coming up here in June in uh, in Lincoln, Nebraska. Jordan uh, excuse me, Jaden Cox will assume his volunteer assistant role on May 15th following graduation. We congratulate him. I do specifically because I'm awfully proud of you. Um, this, uh, this Saturday is going to be a very special day. Uh, one of the greatest things a young person can do is, is to study and complete those studies in pursuit of their goals. And you, you've got it done. Jaden, congratulations. Thank you. My father, actually, before I go, my father actually did tell me um, and he, you know, my father went to Rio with me, but uh, he's uh, uh, he said that um, seeing me walk across that stage will be the greatest things he's ever seen me done. So, 
That's pretty cool. That's a father's love, brother. That's a father's love. Yeah. A lot of respect for you, brother. Thank you so much. Give my best to your, your family, and I'll be looking forward to talking to your brother as well. That'll be special for me, too. Always, always. And, uh, you know, Cox family has a lot of love for you, too, Mr. Casper. I'll listen to you. God bless you, Jaden Cox, Nike Hot Seat, very special guest today. Sure, we're getting a little emotional here at the end, but why not? That's why we're here. Share it with each other. I invite you to do the same with those people in your life. Thanks, Jaden. No problem.